Okay, welcome back. So I'm gonna pick up right where we left off. Um, as we ended the first video, we were in this spot. Let's go do some walking. So this is the Regalsville uh, boat launch. So you can launch your boats into the river, uh, public parking area. Boat launches down there. We've got a nice little sign here. It's a little weathered, but it kind of helps explain this area a little bit. Uh, information is scarce online, or I'm just not good at finding it. Let's see. So this... This, I believe, is the complex. So, the mill complex at Regalsville, as depicted in this 1910 photograph, was rebuilt and generally greatly enlarged to accommodate the paper-making factory established there in 1867 by John L. Regal. That became the Warren Manufacturing Company. So, uh, 1910, when they built a new, a new factory, big factory, which is what was part of these uh, concrete structures, I believe, were part of that new factory. Um, originally, it was there was a grist mill on this property, and then uh, the paper mill took over. And then the paper mill grew, and then outgrew this location and had to move down to uh, Milford. All right, so here we are, Belvedere in Delaware. Um, I'm assuming that they probably serviced the paper mill. I couldn't imagine why they wouldn't. It runs right next to it. Um, this, this railroad was later taken over by the Pennsylvania Railroad, as you can tell by the railings right here. With the uh, the straight railing, we'll go up there in a minute. Check those out. So we're gonna head up there eventually, uh, top side, so you can take a look. There's some neat little uh, foundations left. It's tough to really grasp the size of of the whole factory. I haven't really been able to find that that many good pictures really depict the whole landscape of the area. Okay. Uh, currently the Delaware and the Delaware Scenic River Railroad runs on this line, but they stop in Regalsville. They don't go any farther than Regalsville. I know they would love to uh, continue service on this line. Uh, down to Milford, which is the next town down. I don't know how that'll work out for them or not, but that would be cool. And you can see Pennsylvania Railroad railings. And uh, they use steel ties, which I thought was pretty neat on this one. Now you can see the concrete walls that we were originally at in the first video. And then all this flat land over here, that was all, that was all factory at one time. I thought this spot right here is pretty neat too, so I don't know if the phone will pick it up, but this is a county marker down here. So over here we have Hunterdon County uh, to the south and then to the north is Warren County. I thought that was a pretty neat spot for a county county marker. So there's a bunch of concrete structures down here that I'm going to go show you. 
and um, there's a mill race that starts about a mile up river and it come, came all the way down to the paper mill and I'm going to show you that as well, it's pretty neat. And then up here, you can't quite see it yet, but we're going to see it in a little bit, is the uh, only remaining structure that goes with this complex, and it is, I believe, the old general store. Alright, we're going to head down there. I'm going to take a break, and I'll see you in the next video.